your own favorite channel good evening how are we all doing good evening rashmi tbs cast hello hi paramveer good evening muskan adi good evening yes everyone tanuja adi arathi manav sanjay sheetal hemlata sanjeev hey muskan i'm doing good how are you hi yash i see a seaboard yes arathi d has singing with soul yodha kirti op amit i hope everybody can and see me and hear me properly yeah ap is confusing chapter how many of you actually find this chapter confusing and how many of you actually done with it but still have doubts still have confusions yes of course tbs cast i'm sure that this would help you it should be helpful any doubts if any confusions you have in your mind that would be cleared after the session i'm sure about that sanjay says it's confusing yeah shri krishna confusing tanuja yes sheetal no confusion yeah good evening innovative 26 yes every day you come for this live session and every time to you ask the same thing is this live love this chapter yes indeed this chapter is very nice very interesting very easy also it's not difficult yes done but can't understand it's okay so today in just one session we will be covering the entire chapter all the concepts that we have got in arithmetic progressions i know this is something new for you right because arithmetic progression you learn first time in grade 10th wow adi i'm sure it will be helpful for you so before we start yes an important update so it's regarding anthe you know that it's akash national talent hunt exam students who are coming regularly here they know about it i know that some of you have registered for it but some of you have still not registered for it those who are new here there is a link for this in the register in the description please go and register for that it's absolutely free this exam is going to help you if you want to be a doctor or an engineer if you have these things in your mind like you want to appear for neat je exam trust me by giving this exam you can know your potential at the all india level because students from all over the india would be participating in this paper so you can get up to 100% scholarship cash rewards are going to be there and of course four mock anthe test so mock test you know they are really they are really fruitful they help you to test yourself and you can win an all expense paid trip to nasa wow isn't that exciting So this exam is conducted once a year in November in both offline and off online modes. Online exam dates is from five to thirteen and offline is six to thirteen. Link is there in the description. Please do register for it. You know, we're at twenty six. That is simple. You must be prepared for that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And since we want you to ace in your examinations, you know that we have come up with this new series, Mission Midterms. So our target is hundred percent, right? So that you achieve hundred percent. So what is the plan for the next forty-five days? So what you can expect here: complete chapter revisions. Notes would also be shared over the Telegram channel. You know that students who are new here, please join the Telegram community. Link is there in the description. Mock test quizzes are going to be there. One-shot marathons, important exam-focused questions will be discussed, and of course, doubt-solving sessions. Yes, so you can always post your doubts in the Google form that is attached here in the description. Doesn't matter whichever chapter it is, post it there, and once we do a loud doubt solving session, we will incorporate those questions. Yes, all this is a part of forty-five day strategy. So let's get started. Yes, be ready with your notebooks and pens. That's the right way to learn maths. because you won't be able to understand it if you just see me watch just just you just watch me doing it it's better you solve along with me yes all right so let's get started so here you can see this girl well this is tina now tina you can see she is here to watch a movie with her mother wow yes notes will be shared Now you can see that this looks so crowded. The cinema hall, right? It looks like so. She thought that it seems like a popular one. Now they've got the tickets. She's got the popcorn as well. Yeah, and they went inside the hall. So what she sees here is that, okay, in the first row, she saw that there are four seats, right? In the second row, there are five seats. In the sixth row, in the third row, there are six seats. Now Tina is a very curious child. She is thinking. How many seats are going to be there in the tenth row? Yes, it's okay, Dhruv. I but still, you are able to watch it clearly, yeah? 
Yes, Mohandas, absolutely, because we are covering the entire chapter. We have just started with it. Yeah. How many seats are there going to be in the 10th row? Can we calculate that? Yes. So instead of doing it manually, then the first row, there are four, then five. There is a simpler way to do it. If you observe, there is a pattern here, right? First row, there are four seats. Then second row, five seats. Increases by one. In the last row, I mean the sixth, in the third row, there are six seats. It increases by one every time. So what is this one here that is every time increasing? This one over here, you see, that's the common difference. This small d represents over here common difference. So A1, A1 represents your first term over here. A1 represents first term. A2 represents your second term. A1 or even if you write A, that means the same thing. Yeah. A3 over here is 6 and D over here is positive. That means D is 1 here every time it increases by 1. So common difference over here is positive. So what do we see here? In this first term, if I add the common difference, right, I get second term that is 5. So I can say that A2 is A1 plus D. Similarly, if I add the twice of 1 to the first term, I get the third term. So from here, yes, we need to understand this, that A1 is 4, A2 is A1 plus D and A3 is A1 plus 2D. First tell me, are you able to understand this? Because this is something that we are going to use a lot many times in this chapter. A new word. That means you are done with the chapter. That's why you are saying this. Yes, you are right. That is the one. But first we are trying to understand it right from the scratch. Yeah, Sahaj Preet, TBS cast, 8 and correct. So we all have understood. Got it, Vishal? Yes, Disha? All right. So we have a formula, right? A general formula which specifies this, that an is equals to a1 plus n minus 1d. Or you can write it this way as well. an is equals to a plus n minus 1d. Again, I am reiterating on this thing that a1 and a are same. They both mean the same thing. Kirti Chaudhary. First term over here, it's showing four seats. Second term, five. Third term, six seats. Every time it is increasing by one. First term got four, then five, then six. Every time it increases by one. So what is one here? That one, positive one is nothing. That's the common difference in the successive term. Right? So here I can say that first term over here is four. So second term over here is going to be A plus D. Because that four plus one. Yes, it forms AB with common difference 1, right, TBS cast. A3 is going to be A plus 2D. Why A plus 2D? A is 4. 2D means 2 times 1, right? That's going to be 6. That's how. If I ask you, what is A4? You would say that A4 would be, what is A4? Yes. A4 would be A plus 3D. I hope this is clear to everyone. Students who are learning this chapter for the first time, yes, TBS cast. I hope no confusion still here. All right. So in a similar manner, we know A1, A2, A3, every time there is a common difference, right, between them. The same common difference has to be same. Then only we can call it a AP series. So what do we see here? The common difference between A1 and A2, that's D. Between A2, A3, that is also 3. So can I find out this value? Can I say that common difference is going to be equals to A2 minus A1? Does that make sense? Yes? I hope this is clear. So I can say that D can be positive, negative or even zero. Remember this thing, this question is last a lot many times in the paper. Yes, SP. Which form you are saying? Yes, Kushi, Bishal, got it. This is clear. Dhruv? It's okay, Dhruv. You are answering through phone, yeah? Okay. D can be positive, it can be negative, it can be zero as well. I'll show you the examples for each one of them. Yes, hi Palak, I think you just joined. So here we are talking about the arithmetic progressions. Okay, now, here you can see the seats. In the first row, there are four seats. Second row, four seats. Third one has four seats. That means A1 is four, A2 is four, A3 is four. Now let's try to find out the common difference. If you see the common difference this time, there's going to be no, I mean, no difference. The digits are same. That means here the common difference is going to be 0. So the series was what? 4, 4, 4, 4. Common difference is 0 in this case. So it is possible that common difference can be 0. It can be positive. Now let's move on to the next case. Let's see if common difference can be negative as well. In the first row here, you can see number of seats are 6. Second row 5 and third row 4. So what do we see here? Look at the common difference this time. This time it is decreasing by 1 every time. Decreasing by 1, that means common difference is negative here. So common difference can be negative as well. Yes? 
Which last date to register are you asking about? About what? Are you talking about the anthe? Yes, is it about the anthe? Yes, common difference can be in fractions also. Yes, common difference can be in fractions also. It can be in decimals as well. Yes, it can be rational, it can be irrational. Yes, that is possible. I hope this is clear. No doubt still here. Yes, everyone, come on quickly, give me thumbs ups. If this is clear and I can move ahead. Edward, Bishal, TBS cast, Sheetal. Yes. Clear. Thank you, Kirti. End term should be, yes, that should be positive. Thank you, Muskan, Kushi, Bishal, Adi, Garima, Piji, Anmol, Sahij, Preet, Palak, everyone. I can see loads of thumbs up here. Yes, hi, Manu. Vedpal, Gurpirpal. Radhika, we are done with chapter 1. I think you are talking about real numbers. Yes, we are done with it. So right now we are picking up the new chapters. Once we are done with it, we will again revisit those chapters like the first, the, the ones which are already, already we are done with. Alright, let's move ahead now. So we talked about the nth term of an AP. See, I tell you the best part of this chapter. They are very limited formulas. Only two formulas. You might say three, but I would say only two formulas because third one is the, another form of the second one. Only two formulas in this chapter. Very important, very interesting one, but it all it it is all about how much you practice it. Because in this very small, I mean concept wise, if you see very small chapter, but if you see the number of questions here in NCRT in reference book, you would find a lot of questions. So practice as much as you can. Trust me, you would enjoy solving this chapter. Yes. So this is the formula for the nth term of an AP. A n is equals to a plus n minus one d. What is a here? What is n? What is d? A is the first term, A is the first term over here, which you saw in the previous slides. D is the common difference that remains same, right, throughout. N is the number of terms. Common difference can be positive, can be negative, can be zero, fraction, decimal, it is possible. Number of terms, always positive, always natural number. Yes. Yes, Vedpal, I could not read the entire comment, sorry. N is the number of terms. Yes. TABS cast. So when you are saying a n, remember what is nth term? Let's suppose, I think this color might not be visible. Let's suppose, let's suppose if n is 5. So that means we are talking about fifth term. Let's suppose if n is 1000, we are talking about 1000 terms. Let's suppose we are talking about 55. So we are, so that would be 55th term value. Yes. Right. Don't get confused, special nth term, a n. That's what I explained to you. Depending what the value of n is, here, it tells you about that. Yes, Vedpal, ma'am, 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 ma'am. You can ask whatever question you have. N will be not whole number. It has to be natural number. N cannot be zero. Number of terms can't be zero. It has to be natural number. Right? Yes, Desha, I hope this is clear now. Yes, Kirti, represent. So, we have a few questions. You will be able to understand this then. N has to be natural number. Right. Let's move ahead to the next uh, one. So here, the question that I asked you, if there is in the first row, we have four seats. In the second row, we have five seats. In the third row, we have six seats. How many seats are there in the tenth row? Now you tell me, n cannot be negative. No, Hemlata, number of terms cannot be negative, right? Okay, let me ask you a simple question. Don't get confused. If I ask you, how many students are there in your class? You would say, ma'am, 20, 15. Do you ever say, ma'am, minus 15, ma'am, minus 20? Is that possible? Number of students in the class in negative? Yes or no? I want answers. You will be able to understand the concept. How can you say number of terms here? No, right? Similar way, the number of terms cannot be negative. All right. So here we have to find out the number of seats in the 10th row. So we will make use of the formula that we have. First term, there are four. A1 is four. A2 is five. A3 is six. All of you, please write it down along with me. Statement questions, don't worry. Once I come up with a, this is a concept session. Very soon, next we are going to have our, uh, I mean our, uh, our session where we will be practicing questions. So I think that would be very fruitful for you. You will understand how to apply them, but first we need to understand what the concept is. Concept clarity has to be there, right? Okay, so what is the common difference here? That's 5 minus 4, that's 1. Let's, number of terms here. How many seats are there in the 10th row? Question is specifying 10th row. That means n is 10. So a n is basically a1 plus n minus 1 d. a1, a, same thing. Okay, let's put everything here. That's 4 plus 10 minus 1 times 1. That's 4 plus 9. That's 13. So there are 13 seats in the 
tenth row. Yes, a ten, a ten. Here, what we are finding out? We are finding out a ten. That's okay. Let me write here. Here we are finding out a ten. That's equals to thirteen. Yes, everyone. How many chapters are we going to complete in Mission Mud Term series? I think for maths we haven't done a a session where we we could tell you what all we are going to cover. But we will come up with something wherein we will tell you what all will be covered in this Mission Mud Terms. Yeah. Yes. N terms are only yes. There can be natural numbers only. Vedpal network issue. It's working fine for others. Refresh it again. Yes. I know Girija, you want to ask questions. Yes, but. once we come up with another session wherein we'll be solving questions and these kind of questions would be there don't worry all right let's move ahead now this little kid is thinking what about the total number of seats in the theater right till now what we saw how many how many seats are there in the 10th row but how many total number of seats in the entire theater how to find that out so again i'll have to add all them up here i add up all the seats here 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 i keep adding them up but that's not the right way manually we are doing it so what we will do we will find out the sum of first n terms right sum of first n terms that's the second formula that i was talking about yes hemlata formula sheet is there in the end we will discuss that So in the first row we have got four, so A is four. Second row, how many how many seats are there in the second row? We have got five. A two is five. In the third row there are six. And look at the common difference. That's going to be one. That's going to be positive in this case, right? So second one I can say that's going to be A plus D, and third one would be A plus two D. We have learned this thing. TBS cast. I'll come to this when you can use this formula. Total number of chairs, entire in the entire theater is going to be what? This term, A. Plus a plus d plus a plus two d. When there are only, when we know that there are only three rows in that case, what if there are so many rows? In that case, it won't be possible for me to do it manually. So let's first understand how to find out the sum of n terms. This is the general formula that you saw for n th term. Yes. Okay. Sum of n terms is going to be. We denote this with S n. Now S n is equals to a plus a plus d plus a plus two d plus dot 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 a plus n d. please everybody focus here now we are discussing the derivation for sum of n terms yes derivation will not be asked in the paper though but let's understand how it is actually coming because we will be using the formula only so sum of n terms that means what if i see in the first row there were let's suppose in the first row there were four seats second row five seats third row six seats like seven seats eight seats ninth it's not possible to do it manually every time right so in the first one let's suppose it is a second term is a plus d third you know it's a plus 2d like this you keep adding them up and last would be you know that nth term that would be a plus n minus 1d correct i hope this is clear now let's do one thing let's write all of them in the reverse order okay reverse order means first i'll write this i'm going in the opposite order reverse order so a plus n minus 1d the first term then a plus n minus 2d my second term like this we keep on going then a plus 2d plus a plus d plus a everything i have written in the reverse order first tell me if you have any doubts till here yes shrivani good evening raghav raghav tbs cast uh the formula that you are talking about i'll tell you yes nth term yes we say that it's a last term but it also depends which term we are talking about i'll clear this thing A lot of students have this doubt: Is any term only the last term? Is it any specific term? What it is? Sahij Preet, Garima, clear? No doubt? Yes? No? What we have done here is Kushi, clear? Yes? Clears all the concepts. No doubts, Raghav. Adi, you have a, okay. You have a doubt here. Okay. So now, till now, we talked about the nth term. Correct. How many terms in the first? How many seats in the first row? How many seats in the second row? Like this. Now we're talking about how many seats in the entire theater. So we have to take the sum, right? S n is what? You take the sum of each of the terms. A first term, second term, third term. You keep adding them up to n terms. N th term is what? N th term is a plus n minus one d. Right? Now what I'm doing here is I'm writing everything in the reverse order. In the reverse order means this term will come first. Then comes a plus n minus two d, plus dot 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 a plus two d, then a plus d, then a. Like this in the reverse order. This is the derivation. Okay. Yes, Sheikh Abdullah. Good evening, guys. Gurkirpal. No doubt here. Yes, everyone. 
टिल दिस स्टेप टिल स्टेप नंबर थ्री इज दिस क्लियर मुस्कान से इज क्रिस्टल क्लियर इफ दिस इज क्लियर देन वी विल मूव अड हाउ एन माइनस टू केम सो थिंक अबाउट इट we are we are moving like this a plus 2d a plus 3d like this we keep going on right this is the last term if i ask you the term which is before it every time there is a difference of one every time right there is a difference of d d is the difference so if you see here if you do minus d over here in this term that's going to be what if you do minus d over here that's going to be minus 2d correct so that would be the term which is behind that every time there is a difference of plus d correct i hope this is clear to you why it is a plus n minus 2d every time we are adding plus d to the previous term so if i have to go back i'll subtract d from it that's going to be a plus n minus 1d minus d that's going to be a plus n d minus d minus d so a plus n d minus 2d let's take d common from here we have n minus 2d that's how the previous term is coming right jenny i hope this is clear all right all right all right so we have got these terms now we have written this in the we have written this ah oh, muskan you are talking about nth term yes nth term could be integer but n cannot be integer n has to be a natural number i'll explain this thing lot many students make mistakes here don't worry we will get this clarified right we will understand that in detail while we are solving questions so this is it right now what we will do is simply we are going to add both these equations up when we are adding them up what will we do we will add this a with a plus n minus 1d let's add this up a plus a plus n minus 1d what will you get 2a plus n minus 1d right similarly this a plus d with a plus n minus 2d similarly we keep adding them up okay what do we get here let's add this up as well we get a plus d and a plus n minus 2d so you have a plus d plus a plus n minus 2d correct a plus a is what 2a you have d you have plus n minus 2d if you want you can open this up and simplify this you have 2a plus d plus nd minus 2d so that's 2a that's plus nd minus d so 2a plus n minus 1d we got the second term if you keep doing this every time you will get 2a plus n minus 1d all amazing world liking this session yes everyone who are liking the session quickly hit the like button and share the link of the video with your friends also in your school groups also these are free sessions let others also join in let others also take the advantage of it three muskan are here oh my god now it's going to be lot more confusing yes dhruv adi ma'am so we will be using this can we do it yes we will be using this but there is one more formula idly two formulas in the chapter third formula will be derived from this only i'll show you yes kirti i hope this is clear every time we are picking up two terms in order this one with this i got 2a plus n minus 1d then i solved this one with this one again i got 2a plus n minus 1d your friends are really bad this leaped while studying yes kirti i hope this is clear yes a sn term we doesn't say sn is basically sum of n terms likhita is saying yes elizabeth clear ibadat khan not sn term we will say sn that means sum of n terms raghav clear all right so what i'll do here is you can see that all of them are same how many times are they coming you tell me you can see n here this is the sum of n terms right how many times this all is coming this all is coming n number of times correct this is coming n number of times so what is this going to be here this is going to be n times 2a plus n minus 1d this 2 and 2 will get okay 2a plus n minus 1d right so from here sn is going to be equals to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d this is the same formula that you were writing in the chat that ma'am can we use this yes you can use that ma'am we'll get it every time yes every time the shaft see i showed that to you you can try with a and this you got this you can try with this and this you got this i showed here the same thing yes sachin okay muskan a1 muskan jaiswal muskan singh three muskans friends are bad for health well here we are coming for studying right so but these are free sessions it's not costing anything yes raining in delhi crystal clear derivation is clear to everyone come on quickly give me thumbs up then we will move ahead we will solve some we will see how we can apply this on the questions also 
Yes, Adi says yes. Raga, crystal clear. If your friends are watching this, they will feel very bad. Raga, Muskan, Adi, yes. Yes, Anish, if you have any doubt, you can post that in the chat here. 5.27 questions. Pushpa, we will be coming up with the um, we'll be coming up with the question session as well after this. So don't worry, you'll be discussing all this. If you have any doubts, you can post that um, in the Google form. It's there in the description. You can post your doubts there. I hope you all are aware that for the doubt solving sessions, we have attached a Google form link in all the sessions that we have for maths. All right. Let's move ahead. So this is clear to everyone. This is the formula that I've got for sum of n terms. So A over here is the first term. D is the common difference. N is the number of terms. We know that common difference can be positive, negative, zero, fraction, decimal. First term obviously can be anything. Number of terms has to be natural numbers only. You might be thinking ma'am is repeating, reiterating on this thing again and again. But this is important. This is where we make mistakes a lot many times. Yes. Didn't knew about the form. It's there in the description. The Google form is there. Yes, chatting more than studying. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus here. What did I tell you? There are two formulas in the chapter. Third one will be derived from this only. Okay, see this thing. This is n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. Correct? This 2a over here can be written as a plus a. Correct? I can write this as a plus a, a plus a plus n minus 1d. Right? And here n by 2 as it is. What is a plus n minus 1d? a plus n minus 1d is nothing that's a n. Yes? Nth term. The last term for this formula. Or you can call it L as well. So here I can write it this way. This could be written as n by 2 a plus a n. In the NCRT it might be written this way also. n by 2 a plus L. That is also correct. But I tell you one thing. The limitation of this formula is, this can only be applied when you have first term as well as the last term. But this one, original one, can be applied in any of the cases. Yes? So it's good to know the formulas, but you should know where you can actually apply them. Yes. In the doubt session, not only NCRT book, doubts could be from anywhere. Yes, Likita? Bhavish. All right. Fact store, Brahmin. Yes? All right, all right. I hope this is clear. Let's move ahead. Let's try out a question now. Are we ready for a question? Yes. Let's try this out. Now we have seen the concepts. We have seen the formulas. A hall has 20 seats in the first row. 20 seats in the first row. First term is given. 24 seats in the second row. Second term is given. 28 seats in the third row and so on like this. And has 30 rows in all. In all 30 rows, that means N is given. How many total seats are there in the hall? What do we have to find out here? First of all. Third formula's limitation is that you can only apply it when the first term and last term is given. Not every time the last term is given in the question. Not like that. That's why I'm saying you cannot apply any formula in any question. Like in this formula, if I ask you to apply the third formula, first you will have to find out the last term, then only you can apply it. It's better we straight away apply this formula. We have the first term, right? We have second term, we have third term. Let's find out the common difference. That's going to be 24 minus 20, that's 4, right? n is 30, let's apply this formula directly. n is 30, let's put everything here. Yes, everyone. 15 times this and you get 2340. That means 2340 seats are in the hall. If you ask me, ma'am, can we apply that formula, the third formula over here? For that, you would require the last term first. First, you would have to find out A30 in that case because there are 30 rows in all. First you will find out A30. Once you find that out, then you can apply the third formula. It's better straight away. Let's save time. Let's apply this formula only. I hope this is clear. You understood the limitation of the last one. Why I was saying that second one is always applicable. Any doubts still here or shall I move ahead to the next? Yes, Suman, 136. How come you're getting 136? 2340 is the answer. Yes, Muskan, Ganesh, Raghav, Fact Store, Sheetal, Kushi, Disha, yes, clear. Dhrov, perfect. Muskan, easy peasy. Yes, everyone. Sahijpreet, Sangdil. Screen is not clear. Please refresh the screen. It's working fine for others. Bhavesh, yes. Arshnur, Kushi. Clear. Yes, Anmol. All right. 
Yes, Ishrat, let's move ahead. Now, this little girl has seen the movie and she says it's very nice. So let's book an auto back to the home. Now comes the another case. The auto rickshaw in the city is fixed at rupees 15 kilometer for the first rupees 15 for the first kilometer. Okay, for the first kilometer it is fixed. Understand the question clearly. And rupees 8 for each additional kilometer travelled. Find the total fare for 5 kilometers. Yeah, okay, let's find this out. So here, for the first kilometer it's rupees 15. It is fixed. It has to be paid. For every additional kilometer, rupees 8 has to be paid. Let's suppose if she goes 1 kilometer extra, she has to pay 8 rupees extra. That's going to be 23 then, right? This way, what is the total fare going to be for 5 kilometers? Yes? Yes, everyone. Answers I can see here. Some are saying 15 plus 32. What else? So how are we going to apply this? 15 plus 23. The next term is plus 8. The next term is plus 8. 39 and so on like this right so what is the ideal way to do it because this way if I ask you to find out the fare for 50 kilometers you can't just keep writing it then calculating it so first term over here is 15 common difference every time increasing by 8 so that's 8 and total fare for 5 kilometers so n is 5 okay so sn is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d let's put everything here why because question is asking the total fare that is why we are finding out the sn yes Total fare in all for 5 kilometers. Yes. Alright, so that's going to be 155 rupees. That would be the total fare. Yes. No, it's not for 11th and 12th only. It starts from 7th to 12th for Ante. Why, Sachin, you don't like me here? Why is it so? Dhruv, understand the question. Total fare for 5 kilometers. It doesn't ask you what is the fare for the 5th kilometer. Yes, if question says, what will be the fare for the fifth kilometer, right? Then it will be different for the entire total. Question is asking you the total here. Yes, I hope this is clear now. Fact store. For the first kilometer, it was fixed. Every time it was increasing by 8. So common difference is 8. Total 5 kilometers we have to find out. So definitely some would be, would be applied in that case. Fact store, I hope it is clear now. Raghuram, yes. Yes, I hope this is clear. For the 5 kilometers entire fare, we have to calculate. So instead of doing it one by one manually, we'll be using this formula for sum of n terms. Yes, Raghuram? One word played with the brain. Yeah. Can happen. Clear. Yes, crystal clear. Yes, Kirti, right now I think you should start with, like if you're done with NCRD, NCRD example, start with the reference books right now. So that first concept clarity has to be there. Once you learn that, then you can move to the other ones. Hemlata, I hope this is clear now. First kilometer was fixed, rupees 15. That was the first term. Every time it was increasing by 8, so that it would be the common difference. Question, when it says every time it is happening, so that's common difference. It is increasing, positive. For 5 kilometers, so N is 5. Total fare is it is specifying. That is why we applied this formula for sum of n terms. R.S. Agarwal is a good book, no doubt. But uh, let me just tell you, there you will get most of the uh, would be solved questions, not very unsolved questions, not a lot of questions you would find there. And level of questions is like moderate, not very difficult. In R.D. Sharma, you will come across very difficult questions also, moderate ones as well, easy ones as well. There will be a lot of unsolved questions also. So this way now you can decide whichever book you want to use. Yes. Uh, I hope this is clear. Yes, that's good, Kirti. Disha, that is also fine. I gave you the clear, I mean, the clear difference between them. Yes, we can do that. All the NCRT questions, yeah? Yes, Chan. All the books are good, trust me. It's not that RS, RS is not good, RD is better or S. Chan is better. Don't, don't think these things. Pick up any one book and start solving it. Do not leave questions. Keep practicing it. Yes, Narun. Uh, can we study from only NCRT? Yes, Shambhavi, you can do that. But for standard mathematics, I would still say that, I mean, generally, if you see the level of the board paper, yes, it is not very difficult. Only some of the questions you would find they are difficult. Mostly it is moderate. But still, it's good for practice if you do that. Otherwise, yes, that is sufficient that you are saying. Aryan is also good. Yes. All right, all right. So this was the last... I mean, the last con question, all the concepts 
two or you can say three formulas are there in this chapter that we have discussed completely. Derivation also we have seen. Next time we will be talking about how to apply them on the questions. But now let's quickly discuss the formula sheet. Right, so what is an arithmetic progression? It's basically a sequence of numbers, right? In which each term is obtained by adding a fixed term to the previous number, right? To the preceding term, except the first term. Right, that's what arithmetic progression is. Like here we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So every time we are adding 2 to the preceding term, we get to the next term. So here this plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 that you can see, it's nothing but that's the common difference. It is increasing by the fixed number. And first term we call it A. Yes, so sequence of the number, how we write it? A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D and so on like this. Where is the first term and D is the common difference? Yes. Okay, so what is the nth term of an AP? An is equal to A plus N minus 1D. Where An is the nth term, A is the first term, D is the common difference, N is the number of terms in the sequence. Talking about some of first n terms to the AP, mostly I would say there is only one formula. Other formula is derived from this one. Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1d, right? We saw the derivation, how it is coming. A is the first term, d is the common difference, n is the number of terms, Sn is the sum of first n terms. Here a plus l, l is representing the last term n is representing the number of sums. You saw that it is coming from the previous formula only. Those who were asking, they had confusions in this. What is n? Integer here or it is a whole number? What it is? Like you have a lot of questions which generally students have when they solve questions on this chapter. And a lot of misconceptions also are there. A lot of common places where students make mistakes that I will be discussing in the other session wherein we will be doing some questions. So there I'll give you examples. I'll show you where we make common mistakes. What not to do what to do, everything will be discussed. Don't worry, all whatever questions you have in the in your mind, that will be answered. So one last question, but it's a homework question for you. Find the sum of first 20 terms of an AP whose nth term is given by an equal to 5 plus 4n. Try this out. Let us know the answers in the comment section after the session. Yes, Devika, you now join. And this goes without saying, I guess, we got you covered. That's why we know that you have your midterms coming up. So we have again come up with the mini learning program, which is now free again. So it's, you can avail only the first thousand users every week can avail this. If they use this code YT first, you can get three sessions absolutely free of cost. Again, at whatever time you want to book the class, you can take it for all, whatever subjects you want to take for, you can do that. Yes, playlist must be there. Yeah. UDs are starting. Yeah. Wow. All the very best. A to study. Just do your NCRTs, your NCRT exemplars. Session was short today. When it is a one hour long session, then you keep saying, ma'am, kab khatam hoga? Yes. How many questions are left? How long the session will be? Now it is small. Now you're saying, ma'am, session is really small. So this date will change your life 14th August. And we'll be announcing very soon on August 7. Yes. Correct. A simple chapter. Very less formulas, very less concepts, but when you solve, try solving questions, trust me, it's very interesting and you will come across so many different types of questions in this chapter. Yeah. And we have a dedicated Telegram community for 9 to 10th graders. Link is there in the description. Interesting thing, 3 p.m. every Friday, you can ask your teachers anything. They will be coming live. Any questions that you have in your mind. Homework poll quizzes are shared there. Participate and win special mentions and goodies from Baidu's. Also, people who are asking about the PDF. Yes, this session PDFs will be shared over the Telegram channel. Yes. Okay, so quickly join the Telegram community if you want the PDFs. When is the next session? Please through subscribe the channel. Hit the bell icon. You would keep getting the notifications. Yes, Krish, that is enough. And then some sample papers as well. So quickly hit the like button, everyone. If you're liking this session, share it in your school groups also because you were saying that my friends, they're really bad. They will not study and all. Now you can share the video link. They can watch the recorded session at least. And subscribe the channel. Everyone. Chapter 1, you can't understand. It's okay, Shambhavi. Recorded session are there on, uh, on the channel. But still, if you have any confusions, any doubts, you can post your doubts in the Google form. Link is there in the description. I'm again repeating. You can post your doubts there. Very soon we will come up with a doubt solving session. We will include those questions there. Yes. And we will revisit those chapters. Don't worry about that. So I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.